When the key positions for one or two clips have been set, the Play tab gives several options for moving the clips in sync. In the screenshot above, two clips have been loaded and auto-programmed. Upon pressing the Play tab, you will notice a set of playback controls and a set of position jump buttons. You have a couple of options when syncing these clips. Let's sync two swings by Alex Rodriguez. I know for a fact that one of these swings is on a fastball and one is on a curveball. Let's sync his swing to illustrate the differences between the two control options. First sync the clips by pressing the TT or toe touch button. Then check the both box and click play. Notice how both swings start the same, but the screen on the right shows A-Rod hitting the ball sooner than in the video on the left. Obviously the hit on the right is the fastball while the hit on the left is the curveball. You can use any position to start your sync. Toe touch is best for comparing timing and contact is best for same speed pitches. I can speed up or slow down the playing of these clips by changing the percent at which they are played or by maneuvering the scroll bar. I can even step forward and step backward frame by frame here. Now let's use our second set of controls. This time, let's set the position to contact by pressing the CT button. Uncheck the both box and then press the position button. As you can see, the videos have been force synced to play at the same time. Since we know that these are two different pitches, it helps to further define that we don't radically change the swing for different pitches. Finally, if you have a clip that has not yet been programmed, you can auto-program that swing here by taking the swing to contact and pressing the auto-program for the right or left-hand side of the screen.